Hey everyone, it's Pirate. Wanted to come on and just uh, do a quick concert diary. Yesterday I had the pleasure of seeing Breaking Benjamin with Chevelle, Three Days Grace, Dorothy, and Diamante. I did not get to see Dorothy, so unfortunately I heard part of it, but I'll get into that in just a minute. Um, just as a preface, I have been waiting since February of this year for this concert, so it was hyped beyond all reason for me to to go. This is marking the first time for me seeing Diamante, and if you've watched my channel before and you've watched uh, previous videos, even if you were at my Cannonball Awards, you know how much I love Diamante's music, so she was the main reason I was there, and I'll get into that in just a little bit, but she was great. Uh, this was essentially a rewatch of a couple of bands, so this was the second time that I saw Breaking Benjamin, the second time I would see Chevelle, the fifth time for Three Days Grace. So, insane. The most I have seen a band is six times, and that goes to Pop Evil. So now Three Days Grace goes into the uh, five time slot, and they are tied right now with 38th Special. And if you see in my background, a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't know if you can see it back there, but in my shadow box is a um, stick that I got from 38th Special. I do have a guitar pick from 38th Special. I have two guitar picks from Three Days Grace back there. So <laughs> it was a very hot day. I am exhausted. Luckily, I have the day after off, and I'm not releasing this the day after the concert. You might see this on, like, a Sunday, hopefully. Um, I, I filmed a whole bunch of videos, kind of, at different times, and I'm releasing them at different times, so I'm just trying to be better about being on YouTube, but it was a hot day. Like, I, I slept in till, like, nine o'clock, which is rare for me, and I'm still exhausted. And I'm filming this in the afternoon. So, uh, just just to start things off, Diamante. Uh, unfortunately, she got the shortest set out of everybody. She only got 20 minutes. I would have loved to have seen more of her. But what I found great about her is the accessibility in her music and just how awesome of a vocal range she does. And she did a really good job. Her, her set was simple. You know, everything was simple, but she was just awesome. You know, her voice was spot on. You know, she... You know, some of these bands that they don't sound as good in the studio as they do live. And there are some rare exceptions where the band sounds better live than they do in the studio, in my opinion. That's like Pearl Jam. But Diamante is really, really awesome. And one thing I love about her is she does non-paid meet and greets. And she does this, you know, on um, every single show. And she'll post on her social when she's doing it. And she tries to meet as many people as possible, which is great. So I've been wanting to meet her for a very, very long time. And <laughs> those uh, who've watched previous videos know I got her vinyl record from my best friend. So one of my best friends, but I got her to sign the vinyl record. Um, I packed it pretty nicely. I didn't bring the record with me. I just brought the, the sleeve and it is unfortunately a little bowed for the wear, but you know what? I don't care. I got this signed. It's going to go in the collection. It's, of course, I'm going to listen to it, but it's just that little extra special oomph on it. And it was great because, you know, I've been <clears throat> liking her stuff and we've talked a couple of times on social. So it's like, you know, at least, you know, said, hey, it's pirate, which is cool. But um, what's also nice is I did get a photo with that. And if I can, I'll pop it up somewhere on screen here. If not, uh, you'll just um, have to find find it on my socials. I will post it on my Twitter, hopefully by the time this video is out. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I have all my socials in the description below. But also, she had a, a thing where if you wore some of her merch or bought some of her merch, you got to skip the line. And I was one of only a couple of people, which was really cool. And we had really good seats too. But um, at the end, the person taking the photo said, hey, do you want to sign your shirt? And I said, absolutely. So I gave her my fabric pen, and it's just washed. But I also got my Diamante shirt signed as well. So I have one other signed shirt, and that's from Red Sun Rising. But it looks just as good as when she signed it. So that's going to be one that I don't wear as often. So I can keep the signatures going. So after Dia set, took a little bit of a break. I could hear... Dorothy playing. She sounded just as good 
live as she does in the studio. I didn't actually get to see the set because I was eating at that time. But um, continuing on, next up was Three Days Grace and Three Days Grace Chevelle and Breaking Benjamin got to play around the same amount of time, although Breaking Benjamin played a lot longer. Three Days Grace was just awesome. Like every single time I see them, they blow me away with the quality and how just awesome they are. Um, Matt is just knows how to work the crowd and he knows how to sing. Everybody was just on point and during Riot he had come and kind of run around the amphitheater. I got to give him a high five which was awesome. It was really awesome. So that was a highlight of the night. Uh, Chevelle, for me I like them but every time I see them something is off at least just for me and it just seemed like it was a bunch of, <laughs> I'm going to probably get flack for this mumbling, but, you know, this is just my personal opinion. If you like Chevelle and you love seeing them live, great. I just would have preferred that Three Days Grace go before Breaking Benjamin. And Breaking Benjamin was pretty good, and Ben took a very long time to talk to the crowd. It was, it was a really nice show. There were some comments that he made that I don't appreciate, and I'm not going to go into that, but... Other than that, you know, I could get over that. I could get over that stuff because, you know, he brought people on stage. So they had um, two areas for, I guess, the VIP people. And he went and he picked a bunch of people out of the crowd to go up and stay on stage for pretty much the whole set. Except for, like, one that was, like, towards the very end of the show. But he was, like, trying to pass out waters to everybody in the entire crowd. Which, they didn't have the logistics and time to do that. But... He was, he was really good about talking to the crowd, and that, that felt kind of nice. You don't see that that often, and they, they had fun. They did a whole section where they just covered a bunch of songs, and it was, they all were having a bunch of fun, and that, that translated to me very well. And I'm trying to think. There was, oh, yes, there was a drum solo. You don't have a very good drum solo I haven't seen a good old-fashioned drum solo in a very long time. I did see that during the tool set. Don't get me wrong. Danny's uh, CC trip was very good. And, you know, I think that's getting, yeah, it's getting a full version of that in Fear Inoculum at the end of the month, which I think is awesome. And I plan on doing a review of that. Now, that'll be my probably like my first full actual album review that I've done in a very long time. But... I, I just had a decent time. It was well worth the wait. And I think, you know, if if you don't know any of Diamante's songs, I'll, I'll link one of her songs in the description below. But she is fantastic. She was the main reason I was there, to be completely honest with you. And she did not disappoint. None of them are really disappointing. Um, although just Chevelle, for me, to me, the sound mixing was a little off. Maybe that was just my perception. Maybe I was just getting really tired. But I was a little not bored during it, but I was getting a little tired during it. And it's very rare for me to actually be really tired and like nodding off. I wasn't nodding off, but not off during a concert. So I don't know what it is. Chevelle, I just can't get into live. I don't know what it is. I mean, I like their music when it comes on. It's just, I don't know, just something was off for me. And speaking of off, Ben wasn't very lit very well during a lot of the show. So when I tried to just get my very rare couple of pictures it was kind of hard I actually had to switch to black and white because the saturation of colors they were very color saturated which I thought was kind of nice but other than that I had a really good time so that about wraps it up here for my mini concert diary thank you so very much for watching are you going to any concerts let me know down in the comments below and until next time like I always say when the waters get rough, please, please keep on sailing. Even if you feel like no one else believes in you, I believe in you. There is someone out there rooting for you. Always. And again, thank you to each and every single one of you who, who have subscribed and have watched for the very longest time. It means a lot to me that you're checking out these videos. So once again, thank you so very much for watching. I believe in every single one of you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.